When it comes to fishing, it's hard to beat live bait for filling a creel. But since the invasion of some Kansas waters by non-native pests such as white perch, zebra mussels, and Asian carp, using live bait is a potential problem in Kansas. Exotic invaders, also called aquatic nuisance or ANS species, make it necessary to take precautions with live bait to protect our remaining clean waters. New regulations this year are important for anglers who plan to use any type of live bait fish. Kevin Jones, director of the Law Enforcement Division for Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism, explains some of these important new changes. The key emphasis of these regulations um, is to protect the resource that we currently have in the state. The uh, limitations on these regulations deal with the use of live bait fish. So things such as uh, um, crayfish for instance or night crawlers, um, things other than fish are not covered under this new regulation. These new regulations apply only to uh, fish that are going to be used for bait. Currently, all bait dealers in Kansas selling minnows are required to be inspected and certified as having disease-free bait. As you buy your bait from a certified bait dealer, that is bait that can be used anywhere in the state. Uh, the, the dealer will provide you with a receipt, and it is good to keep that receipt in your possession to show that that bait came from a certified dealer if you're checked in the field. One important new change regards the transport of fish. The fisheries division has identified certain waters as being ANS waters. Any fish that is caught on a water that is designated as an ANS water has got to be dead when you leave that water. You can transport the fish from the water up to the fish cleaning station, something like that, but once you leave that park property or you leave the core property or bureau or rec property as the case may be and you get out on the public road those fish need to be dead at that time that would include all bait fish to be considered dead uncleaned fish must be either transported on ice without water dry or cut through the gills now what if you catch your own bait fish and it's been a, a long-standing tradition that anglers sometimes prefer to catch their own bait and use it uh, for fishing. The new regulation that was put in place uh, requires that any live bait fish that are caught have to be used in the water where they are caught. That if you catch the bait on any uh, impoundment or reservoir, that bait has got to be used within the pool of that reservoir or impoundment. If the bait fish are caught on a flowing stream or river, they can only be used uh, in the flowing stream or river. So the thing to keep in mind if you're catching your bait on a river, you can use it downstream of any kind of dam, but you can't go above that dam and use it. And remember, stream-caught bait fish cannot be used on reservoirs along that stream. Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism hopes you'll help protect our valuable aquatic resources. Remember, always clean, drain, and dry your boat and bait buckets. During transport, live wells and bilges must be dry with plugs removed. Never transport live fish or bait fish between waters. Follow the new regulations which will be actively enforced. They are for your benefit to help stop the spread of unwanted exotic species that can hurt Kansas fishing. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism.